Good morning, everyone. So today is the day before the big overnight. I know you guys are all really, really excited, and it's going to be great. It's going to be a night under the trees, under the stars, roasting hot dogs over the fire. It's going to be a lot of fun. And I know everyone is really, really excited, but there's one thing that everyone hates, and that's mosquito bites. You wake up in the morning, or you don't even wake up at all because you've been up the whole night, and you're covered in mosquito bites. Your face is, like, falling off. It's itching so badly. And it's just really, really annoying. So I started thinking about it, and I was like, you know what? Some people get a lot more mosquito bites than others. Like me, for example, I always wake up with a lot more mosquito bites than everyone else. And I was actually talking to a cousin in New Jersey, and she was telling me the same exact thing. She was complaining to me how she always wakes up with more mosquito bites than her husband, and she complains to her husband. She's like, why don't you get any mosquito bites? So he did a lot of research, and he came up with that people that are low-stressed actually are more prone to mosquito bites because people with high stress emit a certain body chemical that mosquitoes are repelled by. So anyways, I don't know if there's any truth in that. There probably is some truth in it though. I don't know exactly what it is. But I also started doing some research because I realized that mosquitoes probably are attracted to certain body chemicals because, you know, they, they sniff out blood and they need blood to fertilize their eggs. It's the mosquito, the females that bite. And they probably go to certain people who they need, like, just like we need, like, protein and carbohydrates and fruits and vegetables and all that, and all the good vitamins and minerals in our body. In order for us to maintain a healthy lifestyle, mosquitoes probably also need certain types of blood in order to have healthy eggs, in order to fertilize their eggs. Or maybe it's just a preference. Either way, like, we smell out yummy pizza. We go into the store. They smell yummy blood. So they go suck somebody out, somebody out and give them lots of bites. So, anyways, I did this research and, of course, good old, old WebMD helped me out a lot. And they came up with that there's actually a lot of research still being done. But the research they have come up with so far is that genetics are actually a big part of it. So if your mom gets a lot of mosquito bites and your dad gets a lot of mosquito bites, you're probably going to get a lot of mosquito bites. Your sister probably won't just because that's the way it works, you know. <laughs> like, you're not going to be the lucky one. But anyways, mosquitoes are actually drawn to people with high concentrates of steroids or cholesterols on their skin. So it doesn't necessarily mean somebody who is, has a lot of high high cholesterol, a lot of cholesterol in their body, it could just mean somebody who's very efficient at processing cholesterol, and the leftovers are from the, from the metabolic process is left on their skin, and the mosquitoes actually smell that out, and they'll come and they'll bite those people. So foods that are high in cholesterol, just in case you wanted to stay away from them, would be meat or eggs. Also, they're very drawn to carbon dioxide. So people that are moving around a lot and breathing heavily, they're going to come to you. Pregnant women, they breathe more heavily, they'll come to you. They're also drawn to heat. So if you're running around a lot again, they're going to come to you. Pregnant women, again, just because their body temperature is already raised. People that drink beer or alcohol, their body temperature gets raised and they'll come to you. Also, they're, they're drawn to lactic acid, which of course your body emits when you're doing a lot of exercise. There's another big thing that mosquitoes are actually very attracted to. It's like chocolate to them. It's called uric acid. Now, uric acid is the waste left over from a chemical process of purines. Purines are actually a natural substance found in all body cells and almost all food. Purines provide part of the chemical structure of our genes. So some foods actually are very high in purines, and once the purines are broken down through this chem through a chem through a body chemical process, there's leftover. The leftover waste product is uric acid, and it gathers on our skin and in our blood and in joints. And mosquitoes are actually very attracted to this uric acid. Now there's a lot of foods that are actually very high in purines. 
So there's a lot of meats, just like the foods that are high in cholesterol. It's connected. There's a lot of meats. There's seafoods, yeast, so stay away from bear, and alcoholic beverages, again. Now, the foods that are low in purines would be green vegetables, tomatoes, fruit juices, milks, nuts, cheese, chocolate, coffee. So for people that like that type of food, good for you. For people that like meat and bear, I guess you'll have to live with mosquito bites. So anyways, guys, I'm sure you guys are going to have an amazing time tomorrow. And if you don't want to get mosquito bites, you know, have fun sitting quietly without moving, out making any movement out stirring up the air and creating more heat in the atmosphere without eating any hot dogs or any meat without doing anything just sit quietly and don't run around and play with your friends and you know what I'm sure that you'll have the least mosquito bites of everyone or you could have tons and tons of fun and just forget about it that's life people got mosquito bites they're gonna go away Put on tons of off and have a great time.